Question, who else out there since I've said it thinks that fragrances just go better with coffee? Smelling fragrances, talking about fragrances, it just goes well with coffee. Especially in the fall and winter when it starts to get cold outside and the whole nine. Well, that's me. And uh, usually before I do a review, I have a cup of coffee. But we didn't go to the store. We were kind of lazy yesterday. And we forgot. So I don't have coffee today. So... I'll just drink this. Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the channel where fashion and fragrance collide. So if you are into fashion and fragrance, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel. It's not going to cost you anything, I promise you. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime I upload new content on YouTube, at some point in time, between now and 2023, YouTube is going to notify you that I uploaded a video. So it's worth it at the end of the day. <laughs> so guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about fragrances that absolutely blew me away when I first smelled them. Fragrances that will love at first sniff, if you will. I love talking about fragrances like this because obviously there are fragrances that I really, 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 really enjoy so that's what we're going to be getting into today no need for a long intro after i run my intro we're going to talk about the fragrances that i've chosen for this so if you want to see what's on my list of 10 fragrances that absolutely blew me away or either if you want to refer to them as fragrances that will love at first sniff then you know the routine keep it locked right here Sky. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. Now, this first fragrance, I got a story to tell with this one. Um, style the Biggie Smalls. Uh, but I have a story to tell about this one, but let me show you the bottle. We'll get into that in just a moment. But this fragrance comes from the house of East Saint Laurent. This is the private collection, Le Le Vestiaire. I don't know how you pronounce that, as you can see. But you know what I'm talking about. This fragrance comes from that collection, and this one is called Trench. YSL Trench. When I first smell it, I knew that I had to have it. Now, I have a story about this fragrance. So, when I smelled it, they did not have the 125 ml bottle available for purchase. All right in the store i was in a neiman they did not have the 125 ml now i am one of those people i have to have all my fragrances if i have a certain line that i'm collecting i like for them to be the same size if possible so all of my other fragrances from the ysl private collection i'll just call it that are in the 125 ml bottle like this and they had a 50 but i'm like nah, i don't want the 50. so anyway went online on the Neiman's website and said it was available. So I put it in my cart. And then when I put it in my cart, it then said that it was on back order. That didn't make me a happy camper. So I was like, okay, cool, it's on back order. How long will I have to wait? So I reached out to customer service, they said about a month. You guys know how we always fra frag heads, man. When we smell something, we purchase it, we want it. I usually do next day shipping a lot of times on <laughs> my fragrances because I want it when I want it. So anyway, long story short, one month turned into two months, two months turned into me canceling the order. Yeah, not waiting that long. So I reached out to YSL customer service. That's a whole nother story, but I'm not gonna get into that today. And that's just say things didn't go well, all right? They didn't go well. All right, so just so happen to be scrolling on FragranceNet, guys, periodically, even if you're not really looking for something per se, periodically just to check fragrance net because sometimes you will be surprised at what you find. And I'm like, fragrance net had it. So how can the YSL, uh, how can Neiman's not have it? And how can YSL themselves not have access to 125 ml but fragrance net had it? Where do they do that at? 
So anyway, I finally got it. I had to tell a quick little story, but I love this fragrance. Why? Because it has iris, so you get that powderiness, you get that neroli, so that kind of citrus sweetness, you know, citrus sweetness that you kind of get from neroli. And you also have, um, what's the other note in here, a prominent note, iris, you have neroli, and you have that fig. So that fig gives it this kind of creaminess. So fig, neroli, and the iris, man. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's something you can wear year round. Just one of those scents when you put your nose to it, it really makes you happy. And I love this scent. Again, I had to have it when I smelled it. I'm really starting to understand that I really like fig. So anyway, check it out guys from the House of YSL. This is called Trench. I actually said this is a list of 10, but it's actually 11 fragrances I'm gonna talk about. So these three fragrances kind of count as two because they're all from the same house and they're more recent acquisitions, but they blew me a freaking way. You guys saw me, saw me do an unboxing on this one from Boda City Victorious. This is called Valiant. Valiant, guys, this stuff is absolutely amazing. Now, I know it's super expensive, but I will tell you, I found this and another one that blew me away, Blue Sapphire from Bodice as well. I found both of these on FragranceNet. <laughs> they didn't have many, and at the time I wasn't really planning on spending that kind of money, but I did because I knew that I wasn't gonna find a better deal, never gonna find a better deal on these fragrances than I did at that time, and I'm gonna talk about that in a moment, and then also this one, Amethyst, which I did a full review on. This is a cinnamon uh, amber fragrance. Um, this right here, I don't really have words for it, but got some florals and some citruses in there. I'll get into that at another time. It, it's, it's, it defies words. And then of course, this is a uh, candied citruses and florals with rose and ooh, again. All three of these fragrances blew my absolute socks off my feet when I smelled them. And I'm gonna talk about them more because full reviews are, I've already done a full review of this one, but I will tell you right now, full reviews are coming on Valiant as well as Blue Sapphire. All right, basically I'll say this with fragrance that I basically almost paid, I almost paid for both of these, what I would have paid for this by itself. Cause I think this one was uh, four, four, some, 480 maybe, and this one was probably in seven, 780. Somewhere in that range, but you guys know this retails for 900 and this one retails for 1200. So I saved pretty good. <laughs> so that's why I went ahead and got them, but I'm gonna do full reviews on both of these fragrances because they are as good as advertised, they blew my socks off. Love it first sniff. So again, this one is called Valiant, Blue Sapphire, and Amethyst. All right, guys, I think I'm responsible for kind of creating the hype on this fragrance. And uh, cause it's one that I talked about a lot. I've told you before, this was Love It First Sniff, but this is from Bond number nine. This is Lafayette Street. This was easily Love It First Sniff for me. I told you guys I was in uh, Miami and I was with my wife and two other females and uh, I had already sampled this. I think Chad from A Gentleman's Journey sent me a sample of this. this is how I first got my nose on it. Shout out to Chad. And uh, we were smelling, we went to the Bonham and I store in the mall there and they all smelled it and they all went crazy over this fragrance. And I kind of had a similar reaction when I smelled it. I said to myself, I gotta get myself a bottle because it, it just blew me away. It's kind of simple, it's a simple fragrance and not really overly complex, but it's just good. Very spicy, sweet, sweet, kind of spicy, peppery coriander in the open. Coriander is really strong to my nose. Sometimes when I spray this, honestly, it gets the coriander so spicy and peppery, get, kind of gets in my nose. Um, and I'll sneeze sometimes, honestly, is that peppery and spicy. But anyway, you have the coriander, you have a very prominent note um, in this one as well of uh, tonka bean. So you got this tonka thing going on with apple and ambroxan. That's really what this scent is all about, man. But it is a mass appealing crowd pleaser and I love the way it smells. It blew me away when I first smelled it. That's why I had to get a bottle. From the House of Bond number nine, check out Lafayette Street. All right, guys, now this next fragrance is inexpensive, but listen, I talk about everything on this channel. If it's good, it's good, and this is good. It's from the House of Rosasi, and this is called Soto Wa. Soto Wa. And this fragrance is cinnamon, 
This is walnut and sandalwood. And my God, guys, this thing is so good to my nose. It blew me away. Of course, that's what this list is about. Absolute love at first sniff for me. Um, again, most of the time when I find fragrances that have that cinnamon and sandalwood combination that I'm really attracted to those kind of senses. Two of my favorite notes uh, in fragrances. And man, again, for the price that you're gonna pay for this, I cannot tell you guys how good this stuff is. It's inexpensive, so this is one that I say, if you if you like cinnamon, you like sandalwood, um, and notes that have a fragrances that have this kind of nuttiness to it, it's, this one comes from almond. Uh, so it's a little bit more bitter than you, I'm, I'm sorry, from walnut. So it's a little bit bitter than what you would find normally with almond, but trust me, it's good. From the House of Versace, this is called Sotur Wall. A lot of these fragrances that are coming up here need no introduction because you guys know how much I love most of these. Tom Ford Tobacco Oud, man. Tobacco Oud. This thing is phenomenal, man. It's one of the absolute sexiest fragrances that I have in my collection. Amber, Tobacco um, a little bit of oud. It's not really, the oud is not overly prominent in this fragrance. It's more about the tobacco and the ambery accords in this to me, but it is phenomenal. Trust me when I tell you guys, get your nose on it. Get a sample of it. You know what I mean? I know it's discontinued, but a lot of places that do samples and decants have it. So try it. You might like it. From the house of Tom Ford, this is called Tobacco Oud. Uh, this next fragrance is one that, you know, I kind of, not purposely, but I, I hyped it because it was really good. Um, and I bought this from Neiman Marcus. And this one's from the House of Mize and Surge. It's called Ode Jean Jam. Ode Jean Jam, and that stands for Ginger Water. And I can't think of a more vibrant, uplifting fragrance. And again, when I first smelled it, I knew I had to have this in my collection easily love it first sniff for me one of my favorite uh fresh fragrances in my collection now and again it's from the house of mize and sir this is called Uri Jan. another fragrance that needs no introduction when i talk about love at first sniff you guys know it but i had to put it on here this is hypnotizing fire talked about it a lot so i won't say much else but it is really really good one that I, i'm always picking up <laughs> Just put it to my nose so I can smell it and take in all of this goodness. So check it out, guys. It's from the House of the Harmonists. Again, this is called Hypnotizing Fire. It is hypnotizing. I ain't gonna lie. All right, guys. This next fragrance was easily love at first sniff for me. <laughs> I love this stuff. And it is so slept on. Nobody talks about this fragrance. So I think I should give you guys a full review of it coming up soon. From the house of Giorgio Armani, the Privé collection, this is called Ombre Eccentrico. Ombre Eccentrico, and this is just sweet gourmand goodness. Again, for you, those of you that have never smelled this, what I can tell you that I will compare this to that will give you a really good idea, insight to what this smells like. If you've ever smelled Italica from Giorgio, this kind of would put you in that mindset. You have some tonka bean in here, cinnamon, you have dried fruits, oh man, amber. This thing is amazing. Guys, I don't have the words for this stuff, but I just tell you, I will tell you if you love gourmands, this is something you gotta put your nose on. Absolutely phenomenal, intoxicating. Gourmand fragrance. I love this stuff. And if you like gourmands, you probably will too. So if you can, get your nose on it, man. It's, it's a little bit harder to find. Uh, but it's from the Armani, Giorgio Armani Privé Collection. Again, this one is called Ombre Eccentrico. And last but not least, the cleanest, one of the cleanest, freshest, aldehydic fragrances you ever want to put your nose on. From the house of Giorgio. This blew my socks off when I first smelled it. This is called Pico Viadama. Pico Viadama. Again, clean, soapy, aldehydes, and florals. And it's, but it doesn't lean feminine. I mean, I'm telling you, it's a unisex fragrance, but it does not lean feminine. Guys, get your nose on this. Get your nose on this. This is just one of those fragrances that, you know, is going to make you feel good because it's so fresh and clean. And when people come into contact with you, they're going to be drawn in by this fragrance trust me when i tell you you gotta try it 
blew me away when I first put my nose on it. Of course, that's why I went with the 3.4 ounce bottle. But this fragrance is from the house of Jerjoff, and this one is called Pico Valladama. But all right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 fragrances that blew me away when I first smelled them. 10 fragrances that were absolutely love at first sniff. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time. I appreciate your guys' attention to these videos because you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And sincerely, I appreciate that. And don't forget, make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.